we have an exclusive interview with the rise uh, news daily alake yes uh, special advisor to the president on special duties uh, communication and strategy where he expressed the president's commitment to fulfilling his campaign promises and his proactive approach to governance Alake mentioned that the president's decision to appoint special advisors was aimed at ensuring smooth governance without any gaps. A well, State House correspondent Adiswa Moroma began by asking him about the president's first few weeks in office. It's a new development in the annals of Nigeria's uh, governance, you know, structure. Uh, really, nobody has seen this type of fast-paced administration. Nobody has seen any government like this in the history of this country hitting the ground running, running very valiantly and ferociously as to end this epithet that you just referred to as they now call the president Baba go fast because the, the public has not been used to this frenetic pace of, of events and not just ordinary events. These are epochal events, very critical policy decisions. But do you know what that speaks to? It speaks to preparation. It just shows the man has prepared. And if you recall, during the campaign, some of us kept insisting that Nigerians will be in for a good time, for a new dimension in, in governance that they haven't seen before. The nearest they've seen, or the nearest example, is Lagos State, which we kept referring to. And we kept mentioning all the innovations, ideas, creativity that flourished in Lagos as a result of Ashiwaju Bola Metinobu's governorship at that time. That this and more will be seen at the federal level. And that's exactly what is happening. So to us who are insiders, who have known him for decades, who have worked with him for so long, and who know his who knows his style and, and is very hardworking, you know. Um, demeanor, attitude, and inclination at all times, believe me, I haven't seen anybody, and I've had bosses in the past, but I'm yet to see a boss like Ashiwaju Tinubu that flogs himself, flogs his body, working. His average working hours minimum is 18 to 20 hours in a day. And he goes on and on and that. And there's no way you concentrate on hard work with, within long hours that you will not achieve. You would achieve phenomenally. And that's what Nigerians have seen. Now, we discussed it this afternoon with him when we were reading some of the social media comments that is now called Baba Go Fast. Some even said you should go on vacation. Some said when they watch TV now and when they go leave the telly, to go to the bathroom, before they come back, there's another breaking news of another policy, and all kinds of things. But this shows you that Nigerians really appreciate when they have a leader that knows his onions, that is giving the people what they need. It just speaks to preparation. We do know that the president is traveling to France for the Paris summit. What is Nigeria likely to achieve from this trip? Now, the, it's an economic uh, trip, strictly for business on behalf of Nigeria. Uh, don't forget that some of the uh, policies that have been announced and have been implemented in the last couple of days, particularly the, those that border on the economy, the unification of the multiple exchange rate and stuff like that, those ones require direct foreign investment to show up the value of the Naira because with the spike, with, with the announcement of the unification, we had envisaged there would be a spike in the value of, of the dollar. However, that will be in the short run. Now, freeing the dollar, allowing everybody now to use your domiciliary would encourage more people to bring in the do dollars they have hidden in the closets. They will now bring it into the formal system before, because now there's no restriction on your domiciliary. Once you have your dome, you can spend, you know, your money, and it is building confidence. And the economy anywhere in the world works on confidence building, trust. So once the trust is there, that you want to spend your money, you can get it, more people will bring in their money. So, but we still need 
direct foreign investment. That is the essence of the, of the, of the trip to, to Paris. Finally, sir, we've seen some appointments, including yours, but there have been questions around, uh, is it semantics? We've not seen, for instance, a special advisor on strategy before. Um, is the NSA now the special advisor on security? Will it be taking the place of ministers? Can you give some clarification on that? Uh, well, you, yeah, there's, um, because of, again, the president's own style of doing things, he's a very creative person. And, and this was amply demonstrated in Lagos State through policies, through programs, through projects, even through nomenclature. If you recall, in 1999, I was the very first person to assume the title of Commissioner for Information and Strategy in Nigeria. And other states copied, even the private sector copied. And you started having uh, corporate affairs, their strategy, and stuff like that. But we believe it's good to be copied, which shows you're doing the right thing. So now in this instance, because the assembly is on recess now, so ministerial lists can't go into the assembly, and some of us need to have access to official records and act officially on behalf of government. That's why this special advisor creativity came in. And that's why we're here. So some of us are there so as to keep the business of government going and running. And with regards to my own portfolio, you said <laughs> the federal hasn't seen the strategy special advisor before. Now they see it. And in the last two weeks, what you have seen, that a common thread running through all the policy announcements and decisions and all that, it's core strategy. Strategy is at the core of it. Strategy actually traverses every landscape, every area of human endeavor. If you are not strategic in your thinking, in your planning, in your execution, you haven't started at all. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.